Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here with DougRuckerSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com, your Houston, Texas pressure washing supply store and uh, training center coming to you. Going to be talking to you today about using sewer jetting hose to clear out gutter downspouts, pool drains, French drains, things of that nature. Uh, using a four gallon per minute machine all the way up to an eight gallon per minute machine. So stay tuned for that coming up next. Okay guys, so I was called out to, uh, it's actually a very, very good friend of ours, um, family friend of ours, and uh, was called out to uh, their house because they had a slow, very slow moving drain line, French drain line. They've got some drains in the backyard to help move the rainwater when it ponds up. So uh, they had tried themselves to get it cleared and they had pretty much figured out where the stoppage was. And so uh, we came out there with our little four gallon per minute machine, our sewer jetting hose and nozzle and hooked it up. And uh, down this line about, I don't know, 20, 30 feet, there was actually a, uh, I, I guess a dirt stoppage or mud stoppage or whatever. As I fished the uh, sewer hose down the line, I'd feel it stop. And so I would just kind of pull back on it and bump a little bit. And it took about three or four times to do that. And it eventually just kind of cleared and then kept moving and uh, hit another one and did the same thing, repeated that process before it cleared and then kept moving um, and got them both eventually cleared out. So once you've got a drain cleared out like this, you can see all the dirt just starting to pour out. It's just dirt and mud. Again, this is not a sewer line. I would never attempt to do a sewer line. But um, you just kind of want to pull back slow like I'm doing. It'll just kind of help push the mud and dirt back out to drain. As it gets closer, I like to you know move back a little bit and then I'll eventually um, even get in the street and just kind of stand as it gets, as that nozzle gets closer to the end of the pipe. Now, remember when you're pulling it out, it's putting pressure back. So it, it, there's a little tension on pulling it. It's not like it's just going to fly out of there unless you pulled it completely out of the pipe. So just be careful when you're doing that. Um, make sure that you uh, just kind of pull it out slowly and then turn the machine off once you get it right to the edge of the pipe before you're going to pull it out. Now, this will give you a little idea of what it looks like um, with the water coming out of the nozzle. This is with the machine off and just a little pressure or water still built up in the line. But you can see you've got one that uh, one stream that shoots straight ahead and then you've got uh, three that shoot to the side. And so those ones that are shooting to the side are actually angled to the back a little bit. That that's kind of what gives you the pressure and helps to move the hose down the line. And of course, the one that's shooting out straight, that's the one that gives you um, the clearing. Um, that's your kind of your clearing nozzle that will bust up anything. And like I said, we've used these on gutter downspouts that are really, really packed. Um, French drains and yards and pool drains is big. If you've ever cleaned a pool drain and the water is standing around those drains, this is a great upsell and a great service to help your customer get those cleared. So every time it rains, that rain will um, drain properly. Hey guys, in a minute, I'm going to go over exactly what all you need. If this is something you're wanting to add to your business, we'll kind of go over the hose and the parts and everything that's needed. But I uh, just wanted to ask you to be sure to like this uh, video, share it out if you think it can help somebody. Hit that subscribe button. That way you get notifications every time I come out with something that could help you. And then also hit that bell because that will notify you 
uh, when I do come out with a video. Don't forget, I've got a great online video school with over 250, uh, 250 videos. Um, it's a one-time fee, $449. You have options to take tests and get a certificate printed out that you've passed the test. Um, and uh, just something to help you not only in your education, but also help you uh, as you uh, market and promote your business that you do get continuing education. And uh, I just feel it'll drastically help you cut your learning curve. And then also don't forget in February, we're going to have an open house right here at DougRuckerStore.com here located in Porter, Texas. We are your Houston, Texas pressure washing and soft washing supply store. So let's get to the parts that you need uh, to add sewer jetting, or I don't like to use that word sewer, but uh, drain cleaning, downspout cleaning and all that. Let's get to the parts that you need next. All right, so I told you we would talk about exactly the parts that you need. Um, and of course, these will be available on our website at DougRuckerStore.com. Hopefully, by the time this video gets posted, if not, it will be within a day or two. Today is Saturday, so, um, you know, hopefully Monday or Tuesday. Uh, we'll get these up for you. But uh, let's get to uh, what you will need in order to clear drains, clear gutters, um, French drains, pool drains, things of that nature. Okay, so basically what you're going to need, of course, is your sewer jetting hose. And remember, um, when we talk about sewer jetting, we're not actually jetting sewers um, or any type of plumbing inside of a house. We're using these mainly for clearing out really bad uh gutter downspouts, pool drains, French drains and yards, things like that. You don't ever do this um, inside of a house, whether it's a roof stack or uh, plumbing inside of a house, because you're not a licensed plumber, so you don't want to, you don't want to get into that. But um, great way, like I said, to make a little uh, added uh, income to your business. Uh, so what you will need is either a 50 foot sewer jet hose like this. Um, I know the coating is coming off of this one. This one's about 10 years old, but still works great. All the uh, hose is still in good shape. Uh, but you'll need, and these come in either 50 foot or 100 foot. And what you've got is an end like this with your nozzle, and you've got various nozzles you can get. But these come in four and a half, five and a half, or eight point uh, so if you've got a four gallon per minute machine, you go with a four and a half. If you've got a five to six, um, go with the 5.5 .5 nozzle. Or if you've got like an eight gallon per minute machine, then go with the 8.0. Um, and this basically shoots a stream out straight and then it has three coming back out. So as it's going down the pipe, it's pushing its way because of these nozzles shooting back this way. It's pushing it down uh, the pipe that you're trying to clear out. And so that's the nozzle in. There's also a rotating nozzle that you could purchase. I've never used that one, never needed it. Um, but you can purchase that if you want to, to have it on hand, just in case you ever run across something that that could come in handy. And then the other end is a one quarter inch uh, plug fitting that you would uh, put into your gun or ball valve and I use a ball valve when I'm doing mine. This is your typical ball valve setup that I use and I've just got a, a 3 8 to a quarter inch reducer on here. This is not normally what I use. I normally use a hex bushing 3 8 uh, male pipe thread to one quarter inch female pipe thread and then I would use the male pipe thread coupler to go into that but I just grabbed this to show you basically what it's going to look like and so once you get the end set up you simply are going to put your coupler into here and then uh, because I use the plug as the lead fitting off of my hose 
then I'm going to plug this into the coupler and uh, when I get ready to start clearing out a drain you operate the hose by turning your ball valve on and off and like I've said before you you always want to have the hose inside the pipe of course before you turn this on because there's a lot of pressure that's coming out of that and you want to make sure you keep it clear of yourself your eyes your body all of that kind of stuff and so um, that's basically what you need if you've already got a ball valve set up um, or a ball valve then really all you need is the end fitting here the hex bushing and your coupler or if you've got all that or can get that locally you normally can find a piece like this that's going to reduce from 3 8 to quarter inch at Home Depot or Ace or whatever um, as long as you have your proper threaded fitting on the end so that's what we use um, and the parts that are needed to set it up. The cool thing about if you set one of these up and you're using J-Rod to soft wash with via downstreaming, you can always use this without a gun and put your J-Rod nozzle in and that's a very comfortable way. I don't have the J-Rod nozzles on there, but that's a very comfortable way to downstream your mix and rinse. Um, just like I've always said before, you would never want to use high pressure nozzles doing this without a gun but if they're low pressure nozzles it's it's okay it's safe to do that because if you were if you were to drop this using a high pressure nozzle like the yellow or the green or the red nozzle that comes with a pressure washer this could get out of control and start going like a whirly bird and uh, so you don't want to use those type of nozzles just use your 0040s and your 25 you know whatever that you're using depending on the gallon per minute of your machine so if i've got an eight gallon per minute machine my long range nozzle is either our slingshot shooter top shooter tip um, if you don't have one of those you may be using an 0060 and then our low pressure rinse nozzle is the 2520 for like cleaning brick or or whatever um, so anyway, you can always do that too and go gunless and it's just a lot more comfortable, especially if you're cleaning large properties or rinsing or whatever and don't want to have to fool with a gun, you could always do that. So um, that's what you need. Um, let me show you the machine that we use it on. and uh, But you can use this on any type of machine that you want, five gallon per minute, four gallon per minute, um, even eight gallon per minute machines you can use this sewer setup on so let's walk over here i've got two different four gallon per minute machines and i just want to show you um, these are the machines four gallon per minute machines i usually use for sewer jetting um, but uh, simply because it's just not a whole lot of it's it's just enough pressure to pretty much clear anything but this is the lead fitting i was talking about some guys will use this coupler that comes off the machine and so the water would actually spray out of a coupler off of their ball valve um, i use a plug a plug to me points the way of the water that's the way i was taught and so when i'm spraying out of my ball valve or um, anything like that then it's coming out of the plug end on the ball valve so um, but you can use four gallon per minute machines you can use five gallon per minute machines um, eight whatever you want and it'll work just fine okay guys so that's it on the sewer jet hose again we'll have those available on the dougruckerstore.com uh, website. Don't forget, we're located right here in Porter, Texas, right outside of Kingwood. Um, service all of Houston, Texas, and everywhere else. And so I uh, hope this has been helpful for you. Don't forget to um, like the video, uh, share it out, subscribe, and uh, make sure you hit that bell as well. We've got a school coming up Monday and Tuesday. This will probably be aired after that school but our january our 2022 schedule is up for our hands-on training uh, that we do every month right here in houston texas so just go to pressurecleaningschool.com uh, click on events and that will give you the schedule also read that faq page that has just a lot of uh, answers to questions that people ask 
And so anytime somebody asks a question and uh, it's not on there, I go in there and add that to it. So that'll help you uh, add, uh, ask, uh, answer a lot of questions uh, that you may have about our hands-on training, um, our online video school. We actually have two different ones. One is a lifetime membership. One is you can take per class if you wanted to. So uh, check all that out, uh, pressurecleaningschool.com and dougruckerstore.com. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate all the comments and questions and uh, glad that we're able to help you all. Y'all have a very, very blessed day. Hey everyone, this is Jacques Nash out at Doug Rucker Store for his opening the house event. Just wanted to encourage everyone who's local to support Doug Rucker, the Doug Rucker Store, Doug Rucker School. Heck of a guy, very, very knowledgeable, always been a help to me. Uh, just want to again uh, thank Doug Rucker for hosting this event. It was wonderful. The barbecue by Dion was exceptional. If you guys didn't make it, you definitely missed out just for the barbecue. But again, if you're local, come out to Doug Rucker Store. Awesome guy again. Uh, the guy's very genuine, very knowledgeable. So if you need any help in the pressure washing industry, again, shout out to Doug Rucker, Doug Rucker Store.